two spots I told you were super low tide. I couldn't get my kayak in the water. So this one I drove all the way to this little channel here. So everything should be inside the channel here. It's super low tide as you can see. So let me just un uh, unload my kayak and try it out. I'm just gonna fish right right now. I'm just gonna fish with cut cut bait. Try to catch some reds. It's super windy, like I told you. The water was chocolate milk on the portable side. Now, once we cross over here to to uh, South Padre, it looked, there was some a little bit of green water. And like I told you, 20 plus mile per hour winds. It's the afternoon. I always I only fish morning, so let me give it a shot here. Fish a couple hours of daylight, and let's see how we go. I'll throw out anchor here in a little bit when I get close to the intersection of these two two channels here, the one that leads into the subdivision. And uh, we'll take it from there. I think I'm just gonna chunk chunk some bait today, maybe a spoon. And like I told you, 20 plus mile per hour winds, very, very, the lowest tides I've ever seen. So I drove the Jeep all the way to the water. So I'm just going to keep my eye on uh, the tides, make sure my car's not under. So there's lots of bait in here because the bait doesn't have anywhere to go because of the low tide. So I'm just going to. Find a little spot right here and see what I can do. I just got a bite on my cup mullet. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm just gonna relax, chunk some some cut bait. I just cast out about a minute ago. One I have cut pinfish and the other one cut mullet. Bait. I basically caught bait. So it might be a sign that I need to move. Bait. I'll try it a little bit more here and then I'm gonna move because I don't want those things stealing stealing my mullet. I didn't buy that much mullet. So I have to start cutting them a little smaller. Yeah, I'm getting lots of bites, and I guess it's those small ones. Uh, I'm gonna have to move here a little bit. I think I'm gonna move a little bit further in here. Where those white poles are, you can this area. There's some white stakes. That's kind of where I'm gonna go. I know uh, I had another nice bite. I know behind those poles it's really shallow grass, lots of grass for the reds. Right here where I'm at, it's just really a deep strut. So I'll go right, I'm getting little bites here. It must be a little perch. Oh, I got something there. Oh, shit. It got, did it get off? Oh, I think it's a ladyfish. I don't even know if you're on or not. I think it's a ladyfish, but I wouldn't mind if it was a freaking trout. Yeah, nice ladyfish. Good bait right there. Stay here, little boy. Or little girl. Okay, that should give us all the bait we need.
Are you recording? I'm gonna check if you're recording. I think so. Oh, I got myself a lady fish here. Which will be plenty of bait for those reds. As long as he don't jump out. There you go. Hopefully he won't jump out. Let me just put him in the net. Today, since this is the afternoon, I just felt like coming out here and chunking some bait. Of course, my target is redfish. I didn't bring my little pole with the light, so as soon as as soon as uh, it starts getting a little dark, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I just gotta check the tides, make sure my vehicle, I can get out with my vehicle. That's why I don't wanna go too far. Well, I got a little bike there. It's running towards me. Now there's gotta be some reds in here. The bite is supposed to be late today, like six. Hopefully I can land some good reds here. I need some reds to take home. Okay, so the axe is starting to pick up here. I'm gonna go ahead and sh shut you off. And I'll get back with you. But yeah, I got this lady piece I'm gonna cut here. My best reds have come off of I got something, man. What is it? Pinfish? Oh! A catfish! My, my fishing day wouldn't be complete without a catfish. Everybody knows that. There you go, a little catfish. Little catfish. Okay, I had cut a, a pinfish, but they really didn't want it, but let me... Let me chunk it out there again. I cut a nice big trout with a pinfish, uh... I think it was a dead, yeah, it wasn't alive, it was a dead pinfish. Nice speckled trout, I think it was at least over 21. So I know the speckled trout will eat dead pinfish. I know they prefer live, but... Yeah, er, er, the mullet was getting hit big time, but I only bought one little bag. But now I'm going to start cutting the ladyfish. So I should have plenty of of bait. Okay, I moved over here by, right by the white pipes. Right by the white posts. And I'm getting the bikes immediately. On both logs. I think this one's at all. But yeah, I like it here because there's like a little... The grass flats are right to my left. And then the subdivision is to the right. And there's a little channel that just goes right in between the grass flats and the and that wall. So being low tide, there's gotta be in here. 
I got something heavy here. It seems like a freaking catfish. Yeah. But the fish have got to be stuck in here. They gotta be stacked in here because the grass flaps are to my left. And and then the subdivision wall. Ah! Fuck. It's right here to my right, so there's a little natural pass. Natural path right here. So, and then it's getting prime time right now. So, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hook up to a nice red today. I just feel it. I just feel it. Again, I'm here behind the convention center. The first two places where I wanted were super low tide. I could not get into the water. So I checked Polaris. I've never used Polaris ramp, and it seemed like it was doable. But since I had never done it, I just didn't feel comfortable, you know, where to park the car and all that stuff. So then I came to look back here. Not expecting much behind the convention, but it's super low that you got to drive all the way to the water with it. The water's edge. Where my Jeep is right now is usually underwater. Usually you have to tote your kayak to deeper water. I'm getting good hits here. Well, it's still a little different, let's put it that way. But I'm gonna shut you off and... Wait, I'm getting... Um, but these bikes are a little different. They're not the pick pick, they're more of a... Now they're back to the pick pick. <laughs> oh well, I'll 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 turn you on when I, I get a fish. Oh folks, I got myself a red. Too bad it's about eight inches. It's a beautiful little fish. So I came to catch a red fish. I just felt it in my bones, but I didn't know it was going to be 8 inches. So yeah, hopefully they're going to start biting. It's supposed to be a late bite today. Uh, I hate... There you go. Nice little redfish. It almost felt like the real deal. <laughs> like 
like Angler's 48 says, the real deal, but no, it's not the real deal. Uh, nice little catfish, he had some good weight to it, but... Oh well. Well folks, uh, the sun's about to set. I got maybe 15 minutes more. I started cutting the, the pinfish and I sprayed some uh, garlic balizu, balizu oil on it to give it a little kick. I'm still getting little bites but I'm not giving the big ones that I wanted. So it's a beautiful afternoon. The winds are dying down a bit. I have maybe uh, 250 yard paddle but you know it, it's not going to be bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm back here behind the convention center that they call it uh, out by the white post markers before you get into the subdivision. I didn't get into the subdivision. I, I wanted to stay out here. I've gone into the subdivision canals, but I've never, I haven't had any luck. Maybe I'm fishing the wrong, the wrong places and the wrong ways. But yeah, I, at least uh, I got to get out here a little bit. I caught a few fish, not, a little red fish, no keepers. I wanted one big red, which still can happen. This is perfect time right now. The bite is going to be late. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I didn't use any artificial. I had a, a spoon tied up. But uh, fishing with three rods is just not going to cut it, especially all the bites I was getting. Even though the poly catfish and little perch uh, trash fish. But uh, this should be the last uh, little update unless I uh, book into something. So 